Thank you, Tony, and uh, good afternoon, London. What a fantastic and magnificent turnout. The police are estimating half a million. The back of the march is still at Waterloo Bridge, and that is a fantastic, a fantastic tribute. Brothers and sisters, a fantastic tribute to every town and city in Britain, and a fantastic tribute to you. You've travelled here by every means of transport in order to deliver a message to this government. A message that says that we're not prepared to stand idly by and watch them dismantle the very fabric of the societies and communities in which we live. You are the people. You are the people bearing witness back in your localities as to precisely what these cuts mean. Old people going without care, libraries, swimming pools, parks closing down, battered high streets, shattered cities, and worst of all, our young people heading for a life on the door. And why? Why? So that the privileged elite and the corporate giants can continue to rip us off. We have to be clear in the message that we send. We have to mean business. 65 years ago, our parents and our grandparents, having defeated the evils of fascism in Europe, returned, determined to build a land fit for heroes. They built the welfare state. They gave us the national health by us. They've helped us raise our kids. They've helped us fight the disease of poverty that has crippled working people. And it belongs to us. It is ours. And we've got no intentions of allowing a gaggle of public school boys on the way to turn and Craig and Lansley, unless they stop their attacks, unless they drop the NHS bill, then this will be their poll tax. Brothers and sisters, let me send another message, a friendly message, a friendly message to the Labour Party and our Labour MPs. We need a strong, powerful opposition. We need you now on the barricades with us, fighting for an alternative. And there is an alternative. Let's tax the bankers' bonus. Let's make certain we stop the tax avoidance, which robs from us a minimum of £25 billion a year. Let us invest in growth, in our manufacturing base, in our construction. Let us invest in people and let us make certain that growth is at the forefront of everything we do. We also need a plan of resistance. And let me use this opportunity to say that this can only be a start. We have to continue the fight, including coordinated industrial strike action. Applaud the students and our young people who showed us the way. What a fantastic, what a fantastic group of people they are. And brothers and sisters, just as we send, just as we send the message to Craig and company to keep their sleazy hands off our public services, let me send a message to the Metropolitan Police Force and any other police force around the country where the cat fits. Keep your sleazy hands off our kids. If they want to go it's their streets. Comrades, I also want to salute you, Carol Cut, and others who are taking direct action against greedy companies. Unite, you'll stand firm and square with them. 
Hill, congratulate the team winner for being on the people's side today. Comrades, in finishing, let me just appeal to those Liberal Democrats with a conscience. Break with the Tories now and come and join the people's opposition. And for all of you, to all of you, I say one thing. Believe, believe in your values because you speak for the millions of people who are not here today. Believe in our values and let our battle cry echo across this land that we will fight in our communities, we will fight in our streets, in our schools and in our factories and on the beaches as well as we need. So we will fight, fight and fight until justice and decency is achieved. Come on, comrades.